welcome to Haunt the Collector with me, Jace, and another review and a slightly different angle as normal because, as some of you probably have guessed, I can't do the reviews where I used to do them because the big fella there is there now, so we're going to have to do them here, which actually we've got a nice little backdrop behind us. That's going to go to screensaver in a minute, but anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, so today we are going to be doing the review on the quarter scale Frodo and Gollum piece by Prime One Studio. I'm going to go in handheld with this shortly, guys. An edition size of 700, and I think I'm remembering this right. It's about 750 quid, I think this piece was, which in today's market is is very low priced. Uh, I can tell you all now. I have tried new batteries in the arm, and my LED is not working. Sadly, so there is an issue with either the switch or the connection. Now, I've been in touch with Prime One anyway, so they got straight back to me. So that will be sorted out soon. So I'm sorry I can't put the LED on for you all, but I did try. The exclusive of you already have seen at the start is this fantastic one ring on the chain. I think this is a superb little extra to put in into it. It's it's heavy, it's metal, it's well done. Yeah, spectacular. Lovely little, lovely little exclusive, that. Right, we're going to go handheld now, guys, and get up close and personal with this rather superb little piece. So without further ado, let's crack. Okay, everyone, let's start with the base. And I hope this is all coming out. This this one ring on the front of this base. Oh, it's not going to focus a poxy thing, is it? It's done so exceptionally well. I am so impressed with that. I'm trying to keep this in the light, guys. The light's not very good. And you can see the design inside there. They got from Lorien of, of Galadriel. And then you've also got the surround here again, which is, I suppose, representing the ring, isn't it? Let's be honest. Although, to me, I don't know. It, it doesn't. It's almost like a homage to the ring going around it because it's it's more brass-like. Still, but it's done exceptionally well. But this this ring on the front is is brilliant. The quality of that is is fantastic. And then look at this. Look at the bottom of the base here. This marble effect is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Showing you what they can do. What Prime One can do when they put their minds to it. Fantastic work there. Absolutely fantastic work there. I'm just going to bring the light round, guys, just to get this a bit more, a little better, because I want to get in here. Can you see that skull under there? Look, can you see the broken jawbone? There's a bit of rib cage there and the rib cage there. The webbing effect, I think, is brilliant. This this detail under here is superb. It's done absolutely superbly. Try and get in so you can see. Look at that. See the teeth are missing on, and everything. And there's also like all wear and dirt and that on the, on the skull, which I don't think it's going to pick up through his camera. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant attention to detail. When you come round, look, there's even bits of vertebrae. Look, can you see that? Little bits of vertebrae. It's all done spectacularly well. Sorry, guys, I'm moving the light again. I've got to get used to filming round here from now on, or I'm going to have to pull the table right up and we'll sort it. Sort of. And then going on to his feet here, which I don't think the light's going to help here very much. But there's all dirt effect on his feet, guys. Oh, this bloody thing won't focus. And then you've got like the real hair effect on the feet. I think the dirt and that's coming out better on that foot. But just look at the detail. You can't really see the hair on that one, but you can see it better on there. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And going up into the clothing, rips and tears, and decent sort of weathering effect. And there's the scabbard there for Sting. Sting itself, which is metal, everyone. Sting is metal. Again, brilliant levels of detail on there. I'm sorry, I am trying to focus this. this. Bloody phone's just not playing at all these last few days with focusing. I mean, even look at the the detail on the hand and in the wrist. And then you've got the one ring on a chain round his neck. Again, that ring and chain of metal. And the brooch there of, of Lorien. All the way up to the light of a loon here, which unfortunately on mine, the LED function isn't working. 
but I'm sure it looks fantastic when it does. But that in itself, the light of a loon in itself is done so well. Look at that. Look at that detail, that attention to detail. And then we've got the likeness for Elijah, which I had to show you all on the unboxing. Sorry, guys, I know this light's very glaring, but I'm losing the light here. That portrait of Elijah, for me, it might not look it on here because of the light. He's done so well. So, so well. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And then going into Gollum himself. I'm just going to take this arm off so we can just get a better look at Gollum. Look at that, everyone. And the hair does flatten down nicely. If you just got to just gently tease that hair. And it will flatten down perfectly. He's just done so well. I mean, look at the detail on his ears and everything. And he's got dirt and dirt stain marks all on his knees. The creases there in his knees. The veins and everything in his hands and his feet. Again, there's all dirt. and Veins going up his arms. Web comes around to the back you can put more on they give you a bag so you can put more on all the dirt and everything on on Gollum's feet look as you as you would get it probably a little bit too much light on this actually better look now you can actually see look at the dirt on Gollum's feet how they've done that and the creases in the skin admittedly the loincloth is, is pretty basic it's pretty basic you could argue they could have done a bit more detailing on that paint-wise. And then the scars going up onto Gollum's back there. And his spine sticking through. And again here on the back, the cape for Frodo. And taking a look at from the other side view of this piece. Again, getting Sting in there. I'm trying to get Sting in there, guys. And coming up into looking at the other side there of Gollum and the detail they've got in again with the veins and the dirt and the little pouch there on his hip and the lank hair how it hangs down and just looks greasy as well I mean just tell me that doesn't look brilliant just look how good that looks fantastic Absolutely, for a quarter scale sculpted piece, that is that is superb. I tell you what, with all these other companies that are in the Lord of the Rings line now, and I mean talking about Queen, Infinity, Dark Side, for me, guys, you have got to go some to beat this piece. Even if you're using silicon hand punched out, oh, technically this has hand punched. Wow, to beat this piece, you have got to go some. For me, currently. The only thing I have got I can see on the market up for pre-order that can trump this for the money and scale and everything else is wet as dead marshes. That is the only thing I can see toppling this when you take into account scale and price and everything else. This piece is sublime. It is sublime. Guys, I'm just trying to get a bit more of the detail here of looking down on the top of the base. And into Frodo's trousers, you can see the stitching there on the bottom of the trousers. Admittedly, they could have done a little bit more with the paint application on his on his trousers. I think they could have done something there. The shirt looks fantastic. He sculpted with that one ring hanging on his neck, and the likeness to Elijah, which I've already said for me is minimum ninety percent there. Minimum ninety percent. At certain angles, it's it's practically 100. Look at that there for Elijah. Absolutely brilliant. And that light of a loon. And then with the sinister golem looking over his shoulder. Perfect balance. Concept of this is brilliant. The balance of good and evil. Albeit, I suppose, an innocent evil, really. Depends how you look at golem's perspective. Fantastic. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. Round of applause. Take a bow, Prime One. With this piece, you deserve it. You have excelled on this piece.
utter brilliance. Absolute utter brilliance. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, I've I've really been trying to find flaw with this, with an issue with it, and I can't. I just can't. Everything about this piece, from the very bottom of the base to the very top, it's just spectacular. It really is. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this piece, everyone. And, you know, for the price that it was, you know, it's a nice, relatively small sized piece. Give you the dimensions of this, guys. Something I always forget to do. This base is roughly 15 inches in diameter. And it stands at no more than 19 inches. It's a pretty nice little compact little piece. No great deal of weight to it. So absolutely super for people with not a great deal of display space. This is this is going to be a really good piece for you. A really good way. It's going to be a really good piece anyway. Because, wow, I am super impressed with this. I'm not going to sit here sort of going on and on about this. I'm going to just, just summarise this. This piece is spectacular. It is superb. Every last inch of this piece has been done well. The detail is good. The, the execution is good. The, the concept is superb. And I can't find fault with it. I can't find fault with it. I mean, yeah, it's slightly annoying that my LED functions are well, but I'm sure Prime 1 are going to resolve that for me. I've just literally got to send my little video snippet off just to show that the switch is not working. Um... Oh, this takes two LR41s. If not, I've already said that, it takes two LR41 batteries, this piece does. This is just a spectacular piece throughout. And I've been thinking and thinking about this. And, yeah, um, I've, I've come to a score. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. For me, this is a 10 out of 10, guys, because I can't find fault with it. Everything from the price to the size, the artistic concept, the attention to detail, the accuracy on the portraits, the little bits of extras that they've gone to, this ring on the front, the, the dirt textures of the skin, the hair, the LED function, even though mine's not working, the web, the, the detail under the web with the, with the bones and the skull. It's everything about this. I can't find fault with it. It is the best piece in Prime 1's Lord of the Rings line. I applaud you, Prime 1, on this. Continue this. This, this level of accuracy. This level of detail throughout. None of this can't be asked to open a third colour and do the bass like you did on the, the Balrog bass and just couldn't be asked on the Lurtz bass. This, this throughout, this bass is, I said it on the unboxing, the best bass you've done in the, vastly the best bass you've done. And everything up just gets better and better and better. It's brilliant. It's worthy. Every blast bit of this is worthy of a, of a perfect 10. The best piece in Prime One's Lord of the Rings line, in my opinion, guys the best piece and this is now literally one of the very best pieces in my collection i absolutely love it i'm chuffed to bits with it brilliant price mark the shipping wasn't extortionate it's, it's not too big it's not too heavy i'm super super impressed with this i'm super impressed with it guys fair play prime one yep so guys, I'm going to wrap this video up because I've got another review to do tomorrow and it's going to be a long one. <laughs> and it's that big fella over there. Oh God, he's so good. <sighs> so good. And of course, I'm going to have to mention quickly in this video as well that we have reached and gone past actually the 1,000 subscribers. So welcome to all the new subscribers out there. Thank you to each and every one of you who's clicked the subscribe button. I massively, massively appreciate it. And now I've got to work on a giveaway because we're going to be doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So that will be coming now in the new year, guys. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm not prepared for it yet. I've got nothing in. I've got nothing set up. But there will be a giveaway to all of you there. Please don't think I've forgotten. I haven't forgotten. And I'm just not ready. I'm just not prepared for it at all yet. But I will be working on that next year in January. 
sounds so long away when you say next year, but it's only actually in, what, five days. So, yes, it will be coming. Don't worry, it will be coming. I'm just not ready. Thank you to all of you for watching. I'm sorry that this video has been a little bit rushed, but I've, I've got so much to do. I've only got one day off, and I've got so much to cram in, and I've, I've been trying to get this out, but obviously with Christmas and boxing and everything else, I've just not had a chance. I hope you've all had a superb Christmas. Anything at all, guys, you know the score by now. Show it in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. So I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to get off. And uh, I'm going to leave you all with um, Frodo and Gollum. And, uh, yeah, that's it, really. I'm going to go. Take care.